9. HIJMS Musashi The Battle of Late Gulf was a colossal showdown between the Imperial Japanese Navy and the combined forces of America and Australia in late 1944. HIJMS Musashi, regarded as the biggest battleship on the water, was one of the major casualties that went under in the Sibuyan Sea. In case you're wondering, HIJMS stands for His Imperial Japanese Majesty's Ship. Over 1,000 men reportedly lost their lives in honor and service of their country. The Musashi was only 862 feet, 263 meters long. That said, it was a combined amount of firepower from a group of smaller aircraft that sent it to a watery grave. While some argue that size isn't everything and that its sinking showed weaknesses in building such enormous vessels, it's certainly part of an extraordinary seagoing encounter. The Musashi had only been in service for a couple of years before tragedy struck. Its reported 18-inch, 45-centimeter guns would blast down and create a wall of water, which sounds terrifying, right? Eventually, between 19 and 20 torpedoes combined with 17 bombs proved its undoing. It had an equally sizable sister ship, the Yamato, that was sunk a few months later. Microsoft's late co-founder billionaire Paul Allen spent almost a decade hunting down the location of the huge battleship. In 2015, he got his wish and told the world about the amazing discovery he and his private exploration team made, 3,280 feet, 1,000 meters below the surface. 8. Mega Sub How far would you go to prevent your enemy from learning the secrets of warfare? This was the question facing the United States back in the 1940s. World War II was at an end, but they had a problem on their hands. They decided to bring a captured Japanese submarine named I-400 to the iconic location of Pearl Harbor for an inspection. This was no ordinary sub. It's what was known as a mega sub, measuring an incredible 400 feet, 122 meters in length. So what has that got to do with naval secrets? Well, things were straightforward enough, it seemed. The Americans wanted to take a look under the hood. Trouble is, the Soviets asked to take a look also. Not so long ago, the US and Russia had been fighting side by side against Hitler. Was the US Navy going to welcome their comrades into the fold with open arms? Of course not. Now that the Nazis were defeated, everything had gone back to how it was. And so the awkward, to say the least, decision was made to take the I-400 mega sub out into the waters of Hawaii and scuttle it so the Russians couldn't use the information against the US. The I-400, one of just three made, was a fascinating submarine marine indeed, being the largest on record before the invention of nuclear subs. A cool fact about it was you could pilot it for a long time without needing to top it up, meaning you could probably cruise underwater for an incredibly lengthy amount of time. Apparently, this could go around the globe one and a half times. In 2015, reports came in that a team had finally located the mysterious sub, a Sentoku class, and what's more, it wasn't totally washed out to sea, but reasonably close to the big island. Looks like the mega sub was so big that no ocean in the world could hide it. 7. Pigeon Preservation The humble carrier pigeon played a key role in helping the British during conflict. The brave birds carried messages on their legs, which they transported across different countries over miles of water at the rate of 1 mile, 1.6 kilometers every minute. Their efforts were so great they even received medals in some cases. In 2012, a homeowner in Surrey, England, was doing renovations on his house and discovered the skeletal remains of a carrier pigeon in his chimney. A red capsule attached to its leg marked as a possible agent of the Special Operations Executive. Inside the capsule was a coded message that experts believe was heading for Bomber Command. General Montgomery HQ was up the road in Rygate, so it could have been going there, or it could have been flying towards Blenchley Park, home to the famous wartime codebreakers. The message was made up of 27 letters and numbers. Despite attempts by Bletchley's team to crank the code, it doesn't appear to have been solved. However, what happened to this poor little pigeon? It's possible that it landed on the chimney and then was overwhelmed by smoke. How else would it have gotten in there, right? So it probably tumbled into the chimney and died there until it was discovered decades later. 6. British Silver Another precious commodity during wartime besides pigeons was silver. Large quantities were shipped from India to help keep the British currency going. Unfortunately, one of these ships, the SS Gaia Sopa, encountered some seriously bad weather. Separated from its convoy in early 1941, it thought Ireland would be a good place to rest. But by that stage, a German U-boat caught sight of them and launched torpedoes. Out of the 80 crew members aboard, only one made it back to shore. 
The SS Geisopper sank 15,839 feet, 34,828 meters, to the bottom of the North Atlantic, taking the silver with it. In 2013, news broke that a major recovery operation had been taking place to bring the silver back. What do you do with all that metal, years after its original purpose was no longer relevant? Commemorative coins is the answer. The hall, worth approximately $182 million, was melted down and turned into collectible currency. Reports state that the company who recovered the silver, plus the treasury, took the majority of this bullion booty. Everyone else will have to make do with the limited edition coins. What would you have done if you were the one to find these silver bars? Let us know in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. Five. Graf Zeppelin wreck Germany's first and last aircraft carrier, the Graf Zeppelin was built by the Nazis in 1936, but it disappeared into Soviet hands during the war and was thought to be lost. Construction on the massive ship began in 1936. This was three years before Hitler invaded Poland and World War II began. It was to be a prestige object for the Nazis and was equipped with engines capable of propelling the 33,000 ton, 33 million kilogram vessel at an impressive 33 knots. However, practical efficiency was compromised for military purposes. The 1,720-man aircraft carrier could only hold about 40 planes. British or American carriers could hold double that. Even though the Graf Zeppelin was officially launched in December 1938, construction was never completed. Submarines quickly took priority when the war broke out. As the war came to a close and the Nazi Wehrmacht foresaw their demise, the carrier was sank on April 25, 1945, just days before Hitler's suicide. Over half a century after it mysteriously disappeared, in 2006, the Graf Zeppelin was rediscovered in the Baltic Sea near Gdansk by the Polish oil company Petro Baltic. Experts from the Polish Navy confirmed that the nearly 850-foot, 260-meter wreck is indeed the Nazi carrier, closing speculations on its fate. 4. Unexploded Bomb Unexploded wartime bombs are frequently found in Germany and prompt massive evacuations, but most are diffused by experts without exploding. Nevertheless, it's an absolute tragedy when one of these devices does blow up. A lot of the time, this crisis is averted, but sometimes disaster strikes, like it did in late 2021 near Munich Station in Germany. Officials say it happened during drilling work near Donnersberger Bridge. Drilling connected to railway construction work was reportedly responsible for triggering the blast, which injured five people. Luckily, most of the casualties were minor. Must have been one hell of a shock, though. It was apparently a bomb delivered from the air and weighing 550 pounds, 250 kilograms. This makes the reality of World War II all too real. It isn't just something that happened in a history book. It was a highly dangerous period of history that still causes dramatic situations today. Major evacuations take place when one of these devices is uncovered, but as this story shows, that's not always possible. 3. Warbird in Italy Researchers in northern Italy recently uncovered the remains of a Bristol Bowfighter MKX, drawing attention yet again to a World War II British airplane that was first discovered and nearly forgotten decades ago. The Bristol Bowfighter MKX was used as a torpedo bomber in World War II. It was known as Whispering Death by the Japanese due to its ability to sneak up and attack enemy targets. Nearly 6,000 Bowfighters were built, but today their surviving numbers are slim, with only six remaining around the world. Parts of the propeller and the fuselage were found by a group of amateur researchers in the small city of Gusano. This is where the aircraft crashed on September 6, 1944, killing RAF Flight Sergeant John Horsford and Warrant Officer John Watson, according to a report by Discovery News. The men were buried in a local cemetery after the crash, and according to records, Horsford was awarded the Distinguished Flying Medal posthumously. Researchers are now in the process of trying to contact the family members to reconstruct their story. 2. Sunken World War II Bomber There's a powerful connection between the sunken aircraft of World War II and the families of those who flew them. This is perfectly demonstrated with our next story, which focuses on a British photographer who snapped some images of a crashed bomber in the Adriatic Sea in 2016. Descending a reported 230 feet 70 meters, he documented a US Army B-17 flying fortress. This classic plane had reportedly been damaged by enemy fire and was heading towards the island of Vis in Croatia where it could seek shelter. This was a place where many crippled bombers headed to after being shot up over Europe during the war. Sadly, the engines gave out, and the pilot had to make a skilled water landing. 
Co-pilot and second lieutenant Ernest Vianow lost his life in the process, and it was reported stating that his body was still resting with the plane that resulted in a surprising development. After entering a competition with his images and receiving much attention, the photographer received a message from Vianu's family thanking him for his efforts. They didn't know what fate had befallen Ernest, only that he was deceased. Seeing the flying fortress at the bottom of the Adriatic must have brought some closure. How incredible that it took an adventurous photographer to help them uncover the truth about what took place in a truly unexpected way. 1. Nazi ship. Don't mess with Norway. That was the lesson learned by the Karlsruhe, a Nazi cruiser that was sunk in 1940. Built in Kiel in northern Germany, the cruiser was launched in 1927. Hitler's forces wanted to take Norway, and unfortunately they succeeded. However, it came at a bloody cost when the Karlsruhe was attacked by Norwegian military forces, followed by a torpedo from the British to finish the job. The ship tried to escape, but wound up going under in the area of Kristiansand, a port city on Norway's southern tip. There it stayed for about 80 years until the modern world caught up with it. It was thought to be lost until the remains were spotted by sonar and eventually verified by an ROV, or remotely operated vehicle. Interestingly, the discovery was made through a routine power cable inspection. Funny how some of the most significant discoveries can take place thanks to the most mundane kind of stuff, isn't it? Located 1,607 feet, 490 meters below the surface, the Karlsruhe measures 571 feet, 174 meters in length. The ROV showed a huge shipwreck that had been torpedoed, but it was not until the cannons and Nazi symbol became clearly visible on the screen that Ole Peter Hoberstand, a chief engineer at Norway's power network operator Statnet understood it was from the war. The bow of the ship is reportedly separated from the rest. A bow is the forward part of the hull, for all you landlubbers out there. An intriguing detail about it is the way it sits in an upright position. Typically, these kinds of craft will tip over. What's next for this formidable Nazi vessel? There's talk that not everything was done that could have saved it from going down in the first place. A little late to talk about that now, but at least we're going to get some great insights into life on the waves for Hitler's troops. Thanks for watching. Are there any amazing discoveries from World War II that you think should have been on this list? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and see you soon.